Hello everyone and welcome back to Kenshi Let's Fighting Love and it is nighttime everyone is huddled around the fires at camp because no one has a home no one has a home but it's the best homeless encampment you will ever see yes and the most well armed <laughs> that's what matters the most in Kenshi that is what matters yes yeah Reva is making drugs Good on you. What kind of drugs? Oh yeah, we're producing hashish. Yeah, so we have no food production, but we have hashish production. Okay, you know what? You promised me that we were going to put down the building that's at least going to be the kitchen right, and yeah. the sleeping quarters. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, so we, we're good at producing copper. This area is very rich in copper and uh, and we produce hashish. But yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. We need to place some buildings. Okay. okay, so this is our science station, so this will be kind of like Spoils Hangout. Yeah, that, that's that's good, I think, for the, um, yeah. for the dojo. Wait a minute, did I place it backwards? Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, that looks nice. Oh, wow, that exceeds my expectations, actually. Okay. Oh, right, I think we're looking at Dust Forge. So, we'll confirm. So, today, I think that we are going to head off to uh, kill the, the, the Dust King. The because the dust bandits have been a constant thorn in our sides. They can't uh, actually threaten us, but they just pester us at this point. Yeah. And we're going to see if we can make uh, earn some brownie points with the Shek, the queen of the Shek, by bringing the, her his corpse. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so who do we want to recruit for this great endeavor? So I think Guko, Kaji, Rusty. Kaji, Rusty. Uh, crumble, beep. Crumble, beep. And uh, probably in Agnew goes without saying. They yeah. are always together. Of course. And then yeah, you're you're gonna have a lot going on here. So uh, we'll we'll bring uh, Andres. He's our newest member to the the skeleton crew. He is named after our subscriber Andres Jepis. So thanks for watching. Thanks for adding. A character to the crew we're looking forward to having you along the adventures and of course if you think of a character name drop yeah. that in the comments yeah we have room for a few more recruits until we reach the the hard cap of 30 yeah. and uh, then people will have to get killed and then we'll put you on the waiting list <laughs> <laughs> though we will we will try very hard to not get any of our our viewer contributed characters killed yeah, Andres has been hard at work, and he takes his job very seriously. Look, look what he's doing. He he's guarding our water supply with his life. <laughs> his very look, existence. Look at, look at his serious expression. <laughs> yeah. No, Andres, it's okay. You are relieved of your duty because I actually noticed that this thing has an inherent supply of ten, which should be more enough than enough for our needs. So the water tank is no longer your concern. Also, I've looked for a helmet. <laughs> Yeah, we tried uh, putting barrels on there. <laughs> the game was like, your head is the helmet. Yeah, your head is the helmet. And it's not as fragile as beeps, so. <laughs> uh, okay, so the crew is gathered here. All right. Beep, where are you? Beep, what is he doing? Oh, he wants to eat a, a thin fish. <laughs> we'll make this uh, a bounty hunting slash trade uh, expedition. I thought you're Do you have food? Does everyone have? Is everyone well fed? Do we have food oh, for this Oh, that's journey? a good question. Yeah. That's a good question. The, that's the last bit of like edible food we have because. Oh shit! It's worse than I thought. There. Yeah, this is our seeds. This is uncooked bread. <laughs> it's called flour, man. Isn't it called? <laughs> I did, like. Am I wrong? Is it <laughs> no. Not, okay. Like I don't. Wow. No, you're 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 right. Well, they won't starve instantly, so... <laughs> let's not take the last bit of food, but let's go and... Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go see the Dust King, and maybe he has food. Oh, no. Oh, no, Spoil. It's starting to look like your days of exploring are done. You've been put on home duty. This isn't what you signed up for, girl. Which what is the good. fuck are those? Oh, they're, they're uh, oh. Chomp's family. They come to visit. Are they also a meat supply? They are. <laughs> Shit, they are. And they're also an excellent su supply of leather because we had almost completely run out of raw materials. Oh. oh. Whoa, Shaggy, I'm impressed. <laughs> Been the whole time is just like, oh, guys, like, I'm just uh. trying to work. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's one of the new recruits. Yeah, welcome, Ben. Yeah. Now, can we cook some of this meat um, with just like a simple campfire? We can do yes. that. Yes, yeah, well, you know what? We'll have Molly do that. Yeah, if we get her cooking, then. You know, she'll be able to make enough to tide us over until we're at least able to uh, 
get food production because there's quite a bit of meat in there. See, th this is why I need you in this game because <laughs> I hadn't even thought about hunting the garo. Wait, Scooby, why are you? What are you doing? Are you playing with limbs? Just you're gonna get yourself killed someday. See, it'll be good to have the walls up so that he he will ju do this inside the walls at least. Yeah, like no. play with your limbs close to the house like a normal child. Uh, let's go back to the expedition. Uh, we'll first hit the smuggler's bar. Yeah, that's a good idea. Look at our crew. I love it. Yeah, these are some of our toughest guys. All right, so we have two people who can't talk. That's Andres and Agnew. But we came here to trade, so let's... Yeah. Molly, are you being attacked by your own incompetence? No, oh, what's this? Molly can maybe act as bait. The band of bones. Okay, well... Oops. Oh, that's a Shek rebel faction. You're just being aggressive for the sake of being aggressive? Why are you... The building isn't even done yet. Like, if we can't have infrastructure, no one can. <laughs> That's pretty much their deal, the Band of Bones. And we're going to take all your money. How many cats? <laughs> of course, you're interested in the cats. <laughs> their whole outfit fits neatly into the incinerator. <laughs> Scooby, what's happening? Oh, Scooby's under attack. Scooby, move! Scooby, you are way too brave for your own good. Like, nobody asked you to do all this crazy shit, you little dog. Uh, let's see, do we... Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, that's how I want to die. Oh my god. When, when your mother brought you into the world, <laughs> I bet she did not think that this is how you would leave it. That should be the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Just blur out the... D yeah, Scooby, your job is to be baby. Actually, if he can draw them towards the veterans... No, oh, no, no, okay. Wing Wing got it. Oh, man. Who the hell do you think you are? It's like you interrupted my lunch for this. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, skeleton. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Beep oh. is a skeleton too, baby. Uh, he is. Yeah. Let's, let's not discriminate. He is on the skeleton crew. So. Oh, it looks like I can see that up in the distance. Whatever that is. Oh, that is the tower. Oh, these look like starving bandits. Hopefully we can sneak behind them. Of course. Arg! It, it, it will be... Why would this seem like a good idea to you? Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's get some ass whooped up in here. Running around with no shirt on. Like, barely any weapons. Yeah. No. Oh, damn. Beep is the strongest. The strongest! Beep, this was your power level a few <laughs> days ago, so let's... <laughs> He always gets all maniacal when he beats a homeless person to death. Oh, you're gonna loot your comrades. Wow, that's... Like, no sense of loyalty. Ooh. What? The mightiest warrior be... Okay. He's just... <laughs> he's just being annoying. He's singing a song about himself. The learning curve was steep. It's literally because you're a moron. Like, imagine seeing your own. Alright. He never needs to sleep. <laughs> Agnew is singing along. His enemies have to creep. <laughs> <laughs> Around to avoid him. <laughs> it, it doesn't even rhyme, Beep. Just stop. Alright, let's see what we got here. Because their lives will surely... Ugh. <laughs> Yeah, they're such good friends. Let's trade. Uh, Alright, does he got any food? Oh, you have a lot of money. That is good. And you have no food? Uh, okay, well, at least we can offload some, maybe some hashish. Wow, is this all you're willing to pay for? Uh, it? Oh, fine, you can have our copper then. Nice little side hustle. Uh, oh, yeah, so now we're ready for the Dust King. Nice! Nice 20,000 cats. Can't complain about that. Beep is still singing. And while they're doing that, let's check on Dust Forge a little bit. All right. Wow. Yeah. That's starting to look good. Oh, we can probably go. Out. Can we close the gate? Yes, let's do that. We'll close it and lock it. Because I really hate how these homeless people can just walk up in here. I'm starting to understand the United Cities now. Yeah. It was founded by someone who just got a little too annoyed with them. That's like so dystopian. 
They're like, what are we going to do about the, all of these poor people, Jeeves? All of these homeless, starving types, <laughs> these starvers, as we call them. Starvers! <laughs> who keep interrupting our feasts. <laughs> Why don't you create your own feasts? <laughs> All right, Chomp, you're the like one. Like they're just an annoyance faction. Ugh, the starvers. Z guys, uh, go get some food. Oh, God. There's a lot of them. Yeah, that's that, That's what gets you. All right, kill them. Maybe Guko can sneak in there. Because what's going to fuck us up is that they have tower defenders. These guys, they mm. they can one-shot you if, you don't, if you're not careful. See, I told you we should have bought spoil, but you were like, no, I want to leave my woman at home. Alright guys, you want to be just out of sight. I'm glad no one questions the fact that the gate is just opening in front of their eyes. So he made it inside, That was this was the dangerous part, so now he should be fine. Yeah, so... Yeah, we'll have Guko knock out the tower guards. Right. So that'll be a little bunk. Okay, and then a little bunk. And another bunk. We are the debunker. Uh, we'll bunk these guys, and then we'll assault the, the gate. Yeah, just rush them in, rush them in. Who's this guy? Yeah, wouldn't you like to know? Down, alright. Alright, nice. every... Okay, all of the tower gunners are gone. Well, it looks like the Dust King himself is inside. Oh, Kaji. Oh, he got hit in the chest, probably by one of the gunners. Yeah, now my main concern is these guys getting up. Well, yeah, yeah, one so of them is waking up soon. So a big bruiser like Crumble John needs to be up here, so when they get back up, that he beats them back down. Rusty can be up here. Oh, it looks like he's just resting. Yeah, so it looks like he's going to be up to Beep and Agno. And maybe Andres. So this will be his time to shine. Because the Dust King himself is going to come out. So Guko can start drawing them out. Oh my god, this is a lot. I see we should have bought some, um, we should have bought some ranged. Yeah, shit. Okay. All right. That that okay. That went way better than I, than it should Whoa. have. All right, we got the Dust King. Oh, did we? Can we rob the Bandit King? Can we see what he has on him? Yes. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe Guko can do that. Oh, nice. But his armor looks pretty. It was standard. It's standard. No, but we'll still sell it. And the most important thing, the cat. I mean, for a bandit king, you're kind of poor. Crumble is crumbling, doing his doing his jab. I'm wondering if there's anything in their base that's worth anything, though it should be. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a prisoner. Yeah, that might be interesting. All right, we'll check out the prisoner. Yeah, it looks like everyone is dead or dying. That is a really good bow. Okay, that can go to one of the skeletons. All right, Kaji, let's talk to this prisoner, see what they got going on. His name is Cat. Oh, hey, a new guy. Want to chat? He talks to the flies. Uh, okay, that's great, but you want to have any friends? <laughs> what, what happened to you? Why are you in here? Well, it was a long go. I had a date with a girl from out of town. She, I put on my best clothes. Oh, and then the bandits saw you in those clothes. Now here's a tip, don't wear nice clothes <laughs> in the Outlands because bandits will mistake you for a rich merchant. Aha. Uh -huh. They took me for ransom, but ain't nobody gonna pay it because the nobles don't even know who I am. Okay, how long have you been here? Actually, let's get you on that date. Wait, you think you can get me out of here? It's been so long. 11%? Uh, get Guko up here. This is ridiculous. Alright, Kaji, you did your best. Take me with you. All right, Cat is with us. Sweet. Do you what have is Cat good at? Uh, yeah. Okay. So I guess Cat is gonna be our doctor. All right. Well, I think that was that was the goal for our episode. Yep. So if you like this video, be sure to like this video. Check out our merch shop, that's, um, which can be found in the description. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Drop a comment, and we will see you next time. See you next time.